year 2021. This fiscal year runs from October 1st, 2021 and ends on September 30th, 2022. This meeting is specially made to address the housing opportunities for persons with AIDS HOPWA program. So if you are here to provide comments for CDBG, HOME, or the ESG programs, please join our next virtual public hearing on Monday, May 10th, 2021 at 5 p.m. My name is Roberto Casoy. I'm a, an assistant director for the Department of Housing and Community Development, and I will be guiding you throughout this presentation and will be listening to your comments and answering questions related to the annual action plan process. Today, we also have in attendance other city staff providing support, including Mr. Stimber Mutis, our public information officer, Mr. Alexander Jorge, who takes care of our technical needs, and also city staff from other departments such as IT, uh, specifically Yvette Guzman and the Office uh, of Communication. So I would like to thank all city staff for assisting me in conducting this public hearing. Today's agenda includes an introduction to the Hopper program and the city's goal in implementing this program. We will then proceed to give you a brief introduction to the four programs the city currently administers with uh, federal monies received from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, and from the Florida Department of Health. Also, I'll uh, provide you with an update of the funding received under the Coronavirus AIDS Relief and Economic Security Act, or CARES Act, and finally, we will listen to you, the public, for any input or comments you may have. We will open the floor to those who are currently at City Hall, ready to provide us with live comments. We will play pre-recorded video and audio messages, if any, uh, that some of you might have left prior to this meeting. And we will be reading comments left through the online comment form. If you have not had the opportunity to leave a comment yet, you can still access the online comment form by typing www.miamigolf.com forward slash hcd vph in your web browser the online comment form will remain open until we reach the public comment section of this presentation at which time it will be closed and no further comments will be accepted for today's public hearing this online comment form has been open for comments for at least 48 hours prior to the start of this meeting so again just to have a graphic representation, if you have not had the opportunity to leave a comment, you can access the miamigov.com ACDVPH in your web browser. This is what you will see, and you have to follow the link to be able to access the online comment form. Um, again, this form will remain open until we reach the public comment section, and it will be close and no further comments will be accepted for today's public hearing. Next, we'll continue with a introduction to HOPA. Uh, the HOPA program was enacted through the National Affordable Housing Act of 1990 and authorized by the AIDS Housing Opportunity Act of 1992. It is a U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development program and it is administered by the Office of HIV AIDS Housing. By statute, the largest eligible metropolitan city in the county is responsible for managing and administering the HOPA program and that happens to be the city of Miami. The city takes high priority in the confidentiality of our clients and we are committed to maintaining the identity of program participants safe and secure the provision of HOPWA assistance involves information on the hiv AIDS status of individuals for the purpose of determining program eligibility this is subject to confidentiality requirements as mandated by section 856 of the aids housing opportunity act implementing the HOPWA regulation at 24 cfr 574-440 states the following. The grantee shall agree and shall ensure that each project sponsor agrees to ensure, agrees, I'm sorry, agrees to ensure the confidentiality of the name of any individual assisted under this part 
and any other information regarding the individuals receiving assistance. <clears throat> This slide shows the funding trends. As you can see, it shows uh, funding from year 2002 all the way to the funding that is going to be allocated for next year or next fiscal year. Next fiscal year, we will be receiving 11,924,914, which seeing in this chart, you can see that it has had a little bit of ups and downs. However, for the most part, it has been a steady stream of funding uh, for the past 20 or so years. Uh, what is concerning, however, is that this uh, chart does not count for inflation, which or increases in rental assistance um, dollars that the department has had to pay um, as the rents and property, price, property prices uh, go and keep going higher. So what, what is the main goal of the city of Miami HOPA program? Um, the main goal is to reduce viral loads of the affected population by having a housing first approach. It is a proven fact that stable housing reduces people's viral loads to the level that is no longer uh, detectable or transmittable. Our secondary goal is to reduce the risk of homelessness and move participants into self-sufficiency. So what are the available programs that currently the city offers? We have a tenant-based rental assistance program, also known as TBRA, our short-term rental mortgage and utility assistance program, our project-based housing operational support program, and permanent housing placement. The tenant-based rental assistance program is, is also previously known, formerly known as the Long-Term Rental Assistance Program. And it's a long-term program because it provides long-term subsidy assistance to low-income households with an AIDS diagnosis. It's a very similar program to a Section 8 program. Um, and you stay in the program um, until you move to another place or the conditions um, present themselves so that you can, you can leave the program and, and be self-sufficient. Um, the program, the clients in this program can stay uh, so long that they qualify and they have to be recertified on a, on a yearly basis as long as uh, they need to be in the program. The goal of the program is to assist participants in achieving and maintaining housing stability so as to avoid homelessness and improve their access to an engagement in AIDS treatment and care. Some highlights of the program include uh, the participants paying 30% of their monthly adjusted household income toward the rental amount. The HOPA program uh, is responsible or will pay for the difference. So if a household were to have $1,000 a month income, this uh, household would be responsible for 30% of that, which is $300 towards the rent payment. The HOPA, the HOPA program there, therefore will cover the remaining $700. This is similar to a voucher programs where participants select their own market rental housing. Uh, the unit must pass a housing quality inspection uh, standard um, annually and the, and the asking uh, rent can exceed the ongoing fair market rent as is published by HUD on a yearly basis. The participants income eligibility is certified or recertified on an annual basis and the participant cannot make more than 80% of income. Housing specialists help participants manage the housing assistance and serve as liaisons with landlords. As far as the eligibility, an applicant must meet the following criteria in order to receive tenant-based rental assistance. Um, the household must have at least one person with AIDS, with a full-blown AIDS diagnosis, a person with HIV, I will not qualify for this program. Total household income, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, must be at or below 80% of the area median income. Uh, must be a full-time resident of Miami-Dade County or will be taking full-time residence in Miami-Dade County.
The city's project sponsors are agencies that provide housing specialist services and HQS inspections on behalf of the city. Currently are EmpowerU, Center of Information and Orientation, Care Resource, Spanish American Basic Education and Rehabilitation, and Sunshine for All. The tenant-based rental assistance program waitlist application period was opened earlier uh, last year from February 10th to February 21st, 2020. Um, a total of 223 eligible applications were received and a random lottery was performed on May 19th, 2020, which was witnessed by uh, BSR or Behavioral Science Research staff. Um, we have already started calling applicants for, from this waiting list, and we are currently at number 70. Um, this slide says 56, however, um, we just recently called uh, 40 more follow-ups from the waiting list uh, to be processed to be part of the tenant-based rental assistance. For more information about the wait list and the wait list results, uh, you can visit us at www.miamigov.com forward slash community development. The short-term mortgage and utility assistance program um, provides short-term subsidy assistance to low-income households with an HIV or AIDS diagnosis. Currently, this term year program is being funded by the Florida Department of Health. Um, it's a program that is being run by Care Resources and also um, by the CARES Act, which we've dedicated some sturdy dollars or some funding, some Help Walk CARES Act funding for its sturdy program. The goal of the sturdy assistance is to provide short-term stabilizing interventions to help what eligible households experiencing a financial crisis as a result of their HIV or AIDS health condition or a change in their economic circumstances. Sturdy assistance is preventive housing intervention intended to reduce the risk of homelessness and when utilized together with other efforts, stabilize assisted households. Okay, um, for more information about the SPARMU program, we're gonna go through these slides. The assistance is limited to no more than 21 weeks in any 52 week period. That is the normal SPARMU program um, a survey program funded with CARES Act funding um, can provide assistance up to 24 months, um, but the current um, available program, which is being uh, funded with federal, I'm sorry, with uh, state uh, funding from the Florida Department of Health and being run by CARE Resources, can provide up to 52 weeks of assistance, which means it, will, it can provide up to a year of assistance um, currently. Um, we don't know until when that waiver um, is going to end uh, or going to be available. But um, once it's over, the assistance will be limited to no more than 21 weeks um, in any 52-week period. The survey can only be provided if the applicant shows enough evidence that after the assistance, he or she could, could achieve self-sufficiency. There are no caps on the payments, but the maximum amount of monthly rent is limited to $3,000 a month. And the person must be a full-time resident of Miami-Dade County. Uh, one of the, the questions that we all often get uh, asked on this program is if a person that currently does not rent or have a mortgage uh, would qualify for this program because that person may be living with family or friends and the answer will be no the, in order for you to qualify for the distributor program you will have to have um, a lease in place or a mortgage um, an applicant must meet the following criteria in order to receive certain assistance a household must have a at least one person with hiv or aids the total household income must also be at or below 80% of the area median income. Um, a household must have legal residency, as I was explaining earlier, in housing and or be responsible for utility payments. And a household must demonstrate the need for assistance. 
the client must be residing in housing um, and utility bills must be under the name of the applicant or proof of responsibility must be demonstrated. Some of the ineligible costs include um, stereo assistance um, it is not eligible for uh, households receiving rental assistance from other programs, especially at, at these times where we have competing funding sources where households could be receiving rental assistance from multiple number of programs, um, including some of the programs that are being offered by the City of Miami as the ERA, uh, Emergency Rental Assistance Program, um, and other programs that, that have been implemented um, in the past and just ended a few months ago. Um, Sturdy assistance um, is not, uh, the homeless households is, are not eligible for um, Sturdy assistance nor households that are moving into new housing arrangements. Um, and as far as utilities, uh, the phone is not an eligible, phone bills or costs are not an eligible expenditure. To apply, uh, if you're interested in the STEMU program to apply, please contact Care Resources at 305-576-1234 and um, specifically Mr. Francisco Gomez. The city provides HUB funding uh, to cover also for the cost of operating a housing facility while receiving a set of number of units to be rented at a reduced cost to help our eligible households. The assistance is attached to the housing unit, not to the client. Therefore, in the event the client later vacates the unit, she or he will not longer be supported by the HUB program. Um, by the way, this is the project-based housing. Um, this is different from the STRMU. This is a completely different program. Uh, we currently support three project-based housing facilities for a total of 26 units, and the application is done at different times with the building owner. And lastly, um, the last program that we have uh, currently in place, also funded by the Florida Department of State, HOPA funding, is the permanent housing placement um, or PHP. A PHP may be used to help HOPWA eligible, which means HIV or AIDS, uh, persons establish a new residence where ongoing occupancy is expected to continue. Eligible costs under the PHP program include application fees, related credit check fees, utility hookups, security deposit, which must not exceed two months, or rent, Two months of rent, I'm sorry. First and last, or first and last month uh, of the rental fee. Again, uh, this program is being administered by Care Resources at 305-576-1234. Okay, so we have uh, arrived to the public comment section of this public hearing. Uh, we will listen to live comments if anybody is currently at the podium located in City Hall. Um, I will ask Alex, uh, Alex, have we received any pre-recorded public comments? You're muted. We have not received any in the uh, phone, by the phone system. Um, there were no voicemails left at all. I'm verifying right now real quick the, if anything was submitted now. In Qualtrics, no, there was no form. There was no submission on the online form as well. Okay, is there a, anybody at the podium at City Hall? Uh, no, there's no one here at the moment. Okay, very well. Thank you much. Um, so, at this point, I will I will see if there's anybody of the in the audience that is uh, that wishes to provide comments. Um, if you can raise your hand, and and Alex will promote you so that you can provide uh, any comments to this presentation. Okay, currently, uh, there's an uh, Edgar, Edgar Nieto who has hand up. I'm going to allow him to speak. 
Okay, I just granted him permission. He needs to unmute. Good afternoon, Mr. Nieto. Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay, I unmuted him. Hello? Mr. Nieto, are you there? Okay. I'm going to, I guess he's not in. I put his hand down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mute it if he's not, if. Okay. Um, anybody okay. else who wishes to speak in this public hearing, if you could please raise your hand so that Mr. Jorge can promote you and therefore giving you the floor to speak. I believe uh, Alicia had her hand up. Uh, Alicia fell. Okay. No, she's muted. Oh, hi. I don't actually, I must have hit it by accident. So, oh. yeah. No okay. Okay, not a problem. Good thing is that at least we tested that it's working fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, anybody else? Anybody else um, that w wishes to leave any comments? Currently, I don't see any questions. Nobody? No, I don't see any hands up. All right, so let's uh, just give you then uh, 20 seconds, and, and if nobody wants to leave any comments, then we will adjourn. Last call. You have something, Alex, or not? No. Okay. Well, if that's the case, uh, thank you very much um, for your participation. You can still, if you have, um, you're still going to have another opportunity to, pro to provide comments on the actual action plan. Um, that will be advertised later in the year, and you'll have, um, if I'm not mistaken, 30 days to provide comments on the actual document, and that document does include uh, hop one on it. So all instructions on how to provide comments will be um, in the document and in the advertisement of that uh, plan. So um, thank you very much for your attendance today and have a good afternoon. Goodbye.